everybody, I'm Jay Leonard J, and today I'm going to tell you why you should be using an attenuator. So I have a buddy, uh, it's not me, by the way, uh, he has a Dr. Z Maz 18. That's a very lovely amp, I think it's fantastic. And every time I've played with him, uh, he's told to turn down his amp. Doesn't matter if it's an outdoor festival or really a small indoor thing or a, a big club, he's just always too loud. <laughs> And he's always upset because he's always like, oh, my amp's 20 watts. You know, like 20, it's not like a 100 watt plexi. It's 20 watts. How could it be too loud? But, you know, to get a 18 watt amp in its sweet spot, man, you're still talking about a lot of power. And especially with the way PAs are nowadays, and especially the fact that a lot of us are just home nowadays, it's time. If you're a tube, tube lover, tube amp, you know, uh, enthusiast, time to get an attenuator. It's time. Uh, I got two on their bench today. This is the Iron Man 2 uh, by Tone King, and this is the Iron Man 2 Mini. So what I wanted to do today is uh, show you all the reasons why it's probably the best time to get an attenuator for your amp. Uh, they've never been better uh, in the industry. So I'm gonna pretty much give you my reasons why you should get an attenuator and uh, why it's probably gonna make your life so much easier. All right, so I got a Friedman Vintage S guitar going into a Tone King Falcon. Let's have some fun. I guess the first question is, uh, what does an attenuator do? And that's pretty simple. An attenuator, pretty much at its heart, all it does is it really just gets your sound and it makes it quieter. It gets the sound of your amp, it goes from the speaker out of your amp into here, and then from here into your speaker, and you just step it down to different levels to make the guitar sound a little bit more easy to handle all of that volume. So I'll show you what I mean. Right now, it's uh, no attenuation whatsoever, and let's hear what that sounds like. Oh man, that's loud. I'm gonna just turn the switch, and then it gets quieter, and I should be getting the same sound I, I'm used to. Now, I guess the question you should be asking is, uh, well, if this just makes your guitar amp quieter, why don't you just turn down the volume of your guitar amp? And uh, the reason why, specifically when we're talking about tube amps, is as you turn up the volume of a guitar amp, a lot of different things happen. You start overdriving the preamp section, and that has a very specific sound to it. And then as you go up higher and higher and higher, you start overdriving the power amp section of your amp, and that has its own lovely sound. So just on the volume knob alone, you get lots of different textures. When I'm down really quiet, it's a little bit, you know, thinner and uh, more, I guess, uh, delicate. Go up a little bit more, gets a little bit more gritty. And as I go up even more, I get awesome, you know? And just like that, you can pretty much get your amp, put it in that wonderful sweet spot zone, and then adjust the attenuator to fit the volume of the situation that you're in. Uh, not only that, most attenuators actually have a solo function, so you can actually switch between two different attenuation settings, which means your lead tone and your rhythm tone are both gonna be in that wonderful sweet spot. Thank you. 
of the things that makes the modern attenuator so much better than the ones we had growing up is it brings back that reactive load component that the old ones didn't have. Uh, what happens with a tube amplifier is the guitar amp will send a signal to the speaker and a speaker will actually send some things back to the amplifier and they'll work and react off of each other, create some lovely peaks and dynamics and tonal shapes and structures. With the older attenuators, they were pretty much just like a big resistor that just sucked up sound and it just killed that reaction between the speaker and the amp head, which led to a very undynamic sound. It kind of sounded like there was a big blanket over your amplifier, so everyone would have to like turn up their trebles. With the new ones, you get those trebles back, you get that dynamics back, and it just sounds like your sound, only just quieter. Like, listen to the dynamics here. <laughs> Last but not least, using an attenuator is definitely going to help your direct recording situation a lot. Now more than ever, uh, people are kind of putting away the cab mics and they're actually using uh, impulse responses in their computer software or cab simulators to get the sound of their speaker cabs. So they wanna use the, the real amp, but they don't have the nice studio, the nice mics, so they use the software and that's where the attenuator comes in. You can take a line out of here, uh, it has a reactive load, so it's still gonna have that same reaction when it gets to your cab sim. And you can actually attenuate this thing down to pretty much nothing, so you're not gonna be killing the neighbors when you're recording. That's pretty much one of the best things about having an attenuator, being able to be loud while not really being that loud. <laughs> Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, just so you know, by the way, all the Tone King amps uh, that they make actually have these things built into them. Uh, so that would make your life a lot easier if you were gonna go for the Tone King app. But uh, you can tell that these attenuators in any shape or form, doesn't matter what brand, gonna make a pretty cool difference in your setup. Uh, please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below. They help out the page. If you wanna hear my review, on these two units, which one I like the most, uh, and uh, what do I think of them, please check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, and I do all my demos on YouTube. My question for all you subscribers out there, actually it's for the tube users. All you tube amp players, are you using an attenuator, or are you just keeping your amp quiet and using gain for everything, or just cranking and ripping, please? Write it in the comments section below. And uh, if you are using an attenuator, which one are you using? Uh, look forward to hearing what you have to say. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.